What's going on, world? It's your boy Alex Miner, and today we're going to be talking about an RGB pocket light that's only $50. But is it worth the money? This is the Rainbow Fresh from Loud Fast Photo, and it's the company's first jump into the super crowded pocket light market. If you're not familiar, Loud Fast is another budget friendly light accessory brand that's been making some waves in the YouTube space with their super affordable lighting modifiers. From soft boxes to spotlight mounts, it seems like they're trying to be a direct competitor to you know who. But is the Rainbow Fresh a good enough showing, or do they need to stay in their lane? Now the good folks at Pergear were kind enough to send this light over to me for review, but they're not sponsoring the video and they don't get any input on the content. Matter of fact, you're probably seeing it before they do. But now that you know that I'm not a shill, what do I think of the Rainbow Fresh? For 50 bucks, you can't really complain here. The light comes with a mini tripod and swivel mount, but if you really need to save a few bucks, you can skip the mini tripod and get the light for $45. It's got an all metal body that feels like aircraft grade aluminum, a slightly frosted covering for the LEDs, which will hopefully give you at least a little diffusion, and it's got a color temperature range of 3200 to 7000 Kelvin, which isn't really impressive, but will cover a lot of use cases for this light. It charges via USB C, which is pretty standard, and the out Output in CCT mode seems comparable to most of the other lights I've tried in this form factor. So will it work? Yeah, it's definitely a step up from something like an M9, but there's still a couple of things that keep this from being a light that I would actually buy. Number one, I hate the control interface. The layout of the buttons isn't intuitive to me, and because I'm not using this thing every day, I'm always fumbling for the right button combo. Number two, you don't get full dimming on this light. The lowest you can go is 10% and that can still be too bright for some scenarios. Number three, the special effects are pretty useless. The only good thing about them is that they're dimmable, but there's nothing here that I can ever see being used on a set except the cop car effect. With that being said, I do think this light is worth the price, but for 10 or $15 more, you could get lights with better controls, better effects, and Bluetooth app control. So I'd rather invest my money in one of those. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, do all those YouTube things that everybody asks you to do. But if you wanna catch me live, connect with me on Clubhouse or one of my other social media platforms. It's your boy, Alex Miner.